Shark Communications Incorporated and Shark Vision LLC do not endorse or offer for any purpose but entertainment the views of any guest or other expert on Shark Vision or UBN. I knew things before they happened from the time I was a child. At the age of eight, I saw a spirit at the foot of my bed and didn't know what it was. And in my 20s, I finally realized I had a special ability that could help others. I have learned that love never dies. There is a spirit world that can communicate with us, and we all have the gift of intuition. Join me, and together we will explore the possibilities of the unknown from beyond and more. This is Shar Vision. Hello, everybody. It's Sunny and Shar, and um, class is in session. Today, we're doing <laughs> School for Psychics. And uh, back by popular demand, we're doing School for Psychics. And I have two lovely, lovely girls from Breaking Be Beauty Break. What is it? Beauty Break. <laughs> Beauty Break. From Cl on Clever TV. <laughs> it's Clever TV, and they're adorable. <laughs> and um, it's Jocelyn Davis. Hello. With, over there, right, and Lily Marston. Yes. And um, they have, like, see, these I love having you guys here, and I, and I mean it because I didn't grow up with social media, and you guys are all about social media, so I feel really cool right now. You are. Yeah. I yeah, we like, just took an Instagram for you, so it's going to be yeah, great. Yeah, see, and so, but, but my goal today is to teach you guys to be intuitive and to be psychic, and, um, and it seems to me like you already are very intuitive both of you right i think so i'd like to yeah. think so We're real yeah people and reading people all the time I yeah think. and like like you feel someone's energy and you can read for them right well i don't know i was gonna i don't know if i go that far but <laughs> <laughs> okay so but but remember the time in your life where you wanted something maybe it was a business thing maybe it was a romance maybe there was a sexual attraction to somebody and and you, your gut says to you don't do it, but but there's a connection and there's an attraction, so you go and you do it anyway. And then, but your first gut feeling was really the right thing because you suffer the consequences because it really doesn't work out. Maybe it's a romance, maybe it's a a friendship, maybe it's just a a, a, a job or something. Has that happened to you? I'd yeah, say so. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so but you but that little voice, that gut feeling you had. That was your guidance. That was your intuition. That's your sixth sense. And we use our other five senses when we use our intuition and our sixth sense. And there's, there's two ways of being psychic. One is at random, as I just explained, where you're, you know, you, you just get a gut feeling about someone and you didn't ask for it, it just came. And then the other one is on demand, where you really feel someone's energy and you, you feel what they're all about, and then you trust the first thought that comes to your mind. Like, um, I, I like, I, I, I'm kind of feeling something, so I don't know, Did, just say yes or no. Can I just, I'll, I, I'm gonna maybe read for you a little bit. Is that okay? okay and, then, and, then, okay. and then, well, I'm not sure who I'm getting this for, but I might be pick up someone in dis, the spirit world. So just be open about people living and deceased. And, um, and then I'll explain what I, what, how I was getting what I was getting. And then, do you have somebody named Joseph? Did you have like a grandfather or anybody that was a J initial no, deceased? No, Joseph. Was there a J though? A J initial deceased? No, did not you, for me. Did you for have you? this? No. No. There's nobody deceased that's a J or, or G? Okay, so I'm feeling something no. and I don't know what I'm getting. And also, is there another L person around you? Like a, another Lillian or Linda or Laura? My mom is Linda. Your mom is Linda. Mm -hmm. Okay. But she's living, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and I'm I'm picking up somebody though deceased, and I'm not I'm not. Who's the J initial? Was there a romance with somebody that was a J with either of you? Mm. <clears throat> kind of a romance. Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't always know if I'm getting spirits or they're telling me about people living. Is he spelled J A, or does it start J A his mm -hmm. name like Jason or Jack or James or something like this? 
J J Y J. You don't want to say it. On, <laughs> Jared, <laughs> is it Jared? I don't know. You don't want to say it on the air. Jake. Jake. Okay. Jacob was close. Okay. Or Jack was close. What was this? Someone that you went out with? Not officially. <laughs> <laughs> but it's somebody that you kind of have a crush on, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think he likes you. He might be a little afraid of you, though. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> no, I, I think that I think that he's interested. I just think that he's not sure how to handle it or what to do. Is he flirting with you? <laughs> this is so awesome. <laughs> it's more of a it he's not geographically desirable. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe it will make him more vulnerable then because he doesn't have to be afraid of getting hurt or something. But there definitely is a connection with you guys. I can feel it. I don't know why I picked up on your mom, Linda, though. Are you close with her? Mm hmm Yeah. Did you tell her about Jake? Yes, she does know about him. Yeah, maybe that's why, because that connection, like, I, I might pick up on, on that altogether. And then I'm also getting somebody that's an A or M initial. Do you have someone to see that's an A or an M? Do you? Did you know your grandparents' names? Yeah, or? they're not A's or M's. Is there, is there anyone else family that is? No, no who's, other. Who's, M, who's a Mark or Mike or M, 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 Matt? I don't know. Deceased. Or know. living? Do you have somebody living that's My brother-in-law's Matt. Your brother-in-law's mm -hmm. Matt. So who is that? Your... My sister's husband. Your sister's husband. Do they have a baby? Yes. Did they just have a baby? Yeah. So is this the first time you're an aunt? Yeah. Are you close? Are you you're close with them? Yeah. Okay, because I feel like you're going to be close to the baby. Yeah. Are Are you open to romance? Yes. Is Is there somebody that's been around you recently, a romance? Possibly. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna. I feel like there's a romance around you, and I also feel like since your sister had the baby, you're thinking maybe I do want to settle down. That's crazy. Where, where, <laughs> where before you might not have been thinking about it so much. Yeah, for sure. So the MA is Matt, so he's living. And then the other thing I'm getting is a B or R or D or R. Mm. The guy's not an R or B or... No. In, in his last name? R. Starts with R? Yeah. Okay, I won't go... I don't know. Is, uh, yeah, I'm not sure of the name, but he's, okay. his last name starts with R. Yeah. I feel like you're going to, I feel like you might go out with this guy. Okay. Did, did he already ask you out? Yes. Are you going? Yes. Tomorrow night or tonight? Not tomorrow tonight. night? No. Soon. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're Oh, gonna, my gosh! Okay, okay so, <clears throat> okay, now, I, okay, so what's happening is... My mind goes blank, which isn't hard for me. And then, <laughs> and then I allow thoughts to come in my head. And what I do is I feel your energies. I'm feeling your energy. Like I'm feeling your energy about, you know, your mom. You're close to your mom. You're really connected. And that name just pops in my head. Now, I've been doing this a long time, over 40 years. So, but you guys can do this too because I, I did this even when I first began. Because I believe everyone's intuitive and, and everyone's psychic. So when you feel, what, what you're going to, going to do is you're going to feel other people's, the person you're reading for energy, and you're just going to trust the first thing that comes to your mind. But you have, I call it the four C's. You have to have the courage, the confidence, the commitment to conquer it. The courage to do it and to make a mistake. But there really are no mistakes. Because even when I went MA and then, then I went, oh, no, it's Matt. They were talking about that and because there's somebody in spirit around you telling me, but I don't know who that is. So I didn't know if I was identifying the spirit or if I was telling you about Matt. And then um, the confidence to do it, courage, confidence, commit yourself to, to focusing on it, and then you'll conquer it and you'll be able to. The big thing is to act upon it. When you're intuitive or when you get a feeling like, like I have a friend who just, there were all these mechanical things wrong with an airplane. She says, I'm out of here. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. She walked off an airplane. And they said, but your luggage is on here. She says, I can do without my jeans for a couple of days. I don't care. I'm, I'm out of here. Now, I don't know if 
the plane was probably okay, but she might have been avoiding some other crazy thing. Could have been a car car crash mm -hmm. from the to the airport. I mean, she avoided something crazy because her gut was telling her. And she would studied with me, and she called me to tell me about this. So it's so you just have to own it. You have to own your power, own your intuition, own your own what your abilities. Now, um, I'd. I always say a prayer protection before I do my readings because I believe there's good and bad spirits. So if you're connecting with spirits, which I do because I'm a medium, but I also measure everything I get with the highest level of goodness, love, and God because I want to make sure the information I'm getting is accurate. My biggest responsibility is, and your biggest responsibility will be to interpret what's being given to you. So spirits are like friends they can give you good advice and bad advice you never know what you're going to get so you always want to make sure that it feels right whatever information is coming because you want to make sure it's coming from a good neighborhood because there's other, there's different neighborhoods over there <laughs> okay so okay so i'm going to say my prayer protection and then i'm going to have you guys just feel my energy because you don't really know me and i'm sure you haven't googled me or anything and, and, and there's probably things that you can, you'll get that aren't on Google anyway. But I'm going to say my prayer protection, and then I'm, I'm going to have you guys feel my, like my nerve endings, feel my energy, and I'm very open. And then you can just trust the first thing that pops in your head. Don't, don't think about you or what's going on or where you're going later. Um, but you may get a, a pop, a vision may pop in, and you may see your dog but you're really talking about my dog. So you'll get images and they're puzzle pieces you have to put together. You might look on the wall and there might be like a B initial from the shadows and you'll go, oh, there's a B initial. So um, I'm gonna say my prayer and then we're gonna start. We ask the universal consciousness that holds the highest spiritual power of knowledge, wisdom, and truth to guide and protect us as we communicate with our guides and angels in the spirit world and tap into the wisdom of the universe. We respect this opportunity and take full responsibility to use this not for ego or controlling others, but with the pure intention of spreading love and healing life on this earth and beyond. Okay, now you feel my energy and just trust the first thing that comes to you. And I will tell you, yeah, I'll be honest about everything. Okay, come on. Um, are you married? I was a long time ago. Okay. Did he pass away? He did. Are you get asked? Do you have a son? Just my dog. Oh, okay. Who's but basically that's okay. a son. Sonny. <laughs> but you know what? He had a son. He had a son? He had a son okay. when I was married. Okay. Do you keep in touch with the son? No. Does the son have a son? Maybe. I'm not sure. Okay. This is a long time ago oh, when okay. I was married. But I did keep in touch with them when the father passed away. Do you ever go to Hawaii? You know, it's funny you say that because a, a friend of mine today just texted me a picture of her from Hawaii. Mm -hmm. That's so funny you say that. And I was thinking, God, I never go to Hawaii. I need to go to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. But you're feeling, what you're feeling is the energy of Hawaii because I was thinking of Hawaii today. Have you ever gone zip lining? Zip lining? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought of zip lining. Wait, what's zip lining? It's where you like are attached on a harness to it'd, a. It'd be rope. like. Oh, my niece just did that. Oh. In South Africa. Yeah, it's really and cool. And they all think she's crazy. It's awesome. Like, she's my great niece, and my nephew is like, I can't believe she did that. That's crazy. That's ridiculous. I said, I don't know. It's kind of cool. Well, you're crazy too, then. <laughs> Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. She's in, she's taking a semester there in college. That's funny. Um, what else? Just let your mind go blank. Feel my, feel my energy and just trust. Try to give, maybe give me a name, a initial, a. L. Okay. Now that's good. <laughs> Seriously. That's really good. Is it? Because L? my ex-husband was L. What? And my, <laughs> wait, and my nephew that I was oh, just talking about is L. They have the same name. 
Go on. Do you know the name? Come on, you get oh, <laughs> no pressure here. Um, go for it. Lionel? No. Oh. No, but that's Luke? okay. Luke. No, but the girl that was just sitting in the seat's husband's name is Luke. Okay. That was just sitting in the seat that I interviewed yeah. right before you. Larry? Yep. Oh! <laughs> uh, that's it. And that that was my uh. ex-husband. I was divorced when I was 26. He must be in here. Oh, God, don't make... I don't want him to bother me now. <laughs> oh, my god. Now, now, see what you... Like, what you do is... You got to be nosy when you're being psychic. <laughs> so, you want to say, well, what, what do you want to know? Why are you here? What... Am I picking up on a past romance because there's going to be a future romance? Or am I... You, you have to figure out why you're picking up on that energy in my world. Maybe he's just funny. Do you think he's funny? Well, he was kind of funny. That's what made me fall in love Maybe with him. He's just like he, playing a joke or something. Yeah, well, he he was he was he had a good sense of humor. He made me laugh. Your turn, Lil. I know I'm really bad at this. <laughs> no, you're not. No, no, no. Now come on. Just just feel my energy, and I you can't be wrong. You cannot be wrong, I promise you. The angels won't let you be wrong. Just feel the first, what's the first thing that comes? Just try anything. The letter N. N? Mm -hmm. I had an uncle who, I have a cousin who's an N, and I had an uncle who's an N. And wait, oh, N is my assistant. Oh my God, who I'm closest to. That's amazing. What are you getting? Can you get a name? Nicole. That's it. Perfect. <laughs> what? That's we're crazy. Psychic. Oh, my God. That's we're crazy. Psychic. Okay, now feel her energy. What do you see for Nicole? Do you see anything like, I don't know, do you get nosy about her? Like, what do you, is, are you getting any messages about Nicole or feeling anything about Nicole? You'll feel if you like her, you don't like her. You'll feel you'll feel her energy. She seem it seems like it's someone I would like. Yeah, she, you would love her, <laughs> and she would love you guys, both of you. She younger. Yep. Yep. Totally. Like under thirty. Uh, about thirty-two or something like that. But that's but that's the age range. See, you guys are doing this. <laughs> you guys crazy. are doing this now. You know, and I'm being totally honest about everything. Because he probably didn't know that I was married and had a stepson, and no, then no, no she didn't either. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. So, well, go on. See what else you get. Mm, she engaged. Who? Nicole. Nicole. No, but no. Why do you see somebody coming up for her? I don't know. Maybe. Good. Sure. I want that for Nicole. Yeah, yeah. I know her, but yeah, we're, we're why not? It. Why not? <laughs> put it in the universe. Why not? Let's put it out there. Um, what about like farms? I'm oh gonna... my God, <laughs> farms! What about farms? I don't know, like cornfields or something. Okay, well, okay, this is crazy. It's, 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 Am I a psychic? Are you feeling? You're feeling this energy about me, right? I don't know. I'm just okay. Like, wait, let me I, tell you. I, I live of. in Michigan. Uh huh. I have a barn. Uh huh. I have almost 10 acres and I used to have horses and and I love horses <laughs> you she love loves horses. horses okay yeah. I used to have them in my front yard when I used to substitute teach I used to go out in the manure in my high heels and throw the hay over the fence and feed the horses and then have manure on my feet and go to, to class and, and substitute teach could never get a real job I don't know what happened but anyway <laughs> um and, I, and every summer I went to a horseback riding camp when I was a kid, and uh, we rode horses through cornfields. Hey, we used to, we, in fact, go. In fact, in August, when the corn is as high as an elephant's eye, you probably don't know what that's as long as from. Oh, it's Oklahoma. A oh, there you go. Okay. I love musicals. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's such a story. Okay, I love good. Well, I, okay, I do too. We can all go to karaoke <laughs> oh and gosh. sing Broadway musicals. Yes. Okay, so um, we used to play tag in the cornfields. 
It's very good. Come on, she's just she's just louder than you. Well, Come just on, say you can like do this. So, whatever. Uh, what's in your head right now? Just Come go. on, just go. One, two, three. I, the, nothing. <laughs> okay, no, well nothing. that's okay. If there's nothing. There's nothing. Don't feel pressured. <laughs> Something with music. Oh my God, that is so good. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know someone that's a musician? Are you close with someone that's a musician? Um, I am. I am, actually. They're a singer. Yes. And they're actually, I'm going to see them tomorrow. They're coming to stay with me, and mm. they're very famous. Like, I'm not going to say who it is. No, I was going to say what we know. <laughs> <laughs> but that's really good. That's crazy. It's crazy. You... You might know who that who it is, but Elisa. <laughs> oh, was he on the show? Yeah. Okay. No, no, not on the show. Okay. I know who. Mm. <laughs> don't say it. I'm not. Don't tell him because I don't want people to know. <laughs> I want to. I protect them. I protect famous people. So okay. when you guys are like you're famous now, I'll protect no, we're you. We're actually no, when no, you're no, really famous. Really I will famous. so <laughs> I will so protect you guys. I really am. I, I I'm like that. Okay, come on. But music is so true. Plus, I love I love music. I want to be a music major, and I couldn't play piano. <laughs> chopsticks. <laughs> Can't get anywhere with chopsticks. <laughs> I can play by ear though. Something with swimming. Yeah, what about it? A good experience swimming recently? Yeah, I love to swim. I do, I do laps. I was just talking about it yesterday with my hairdresser because I was like, oh, I have to put conditioner on my hair <laughs> and then I'll put a bathing cap on. <laughs> I look like Esther Williams, you don't know who that is. But <laughs> Esther Williams was a famous like swimmer and I look horrible. I just don't want anyone to see me. <laughs> but I do, I love to swim. And I was thinking, God, he just did my hair yesterday. Do I really want to swim and, like, get it all curly and stuff? And then you did it anyway. No, I didn't. <laughs> no? It looks really you, good. You picked the hair You have a good swimming. blowout right now, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's on point. Thanks. <laughs> That's so funny. That's good. You guys are really very good. Okay, so, do you, oh, okay, so, so you can feel my energy. What, what do you see for my work? You want to help people. I do. Yeah. And you're very, very passionate about what you do. And it makes you happy. It's true. So fast forward me, and where do you see me in a year? You're going to fast forward me like a... And, and imagine where you see me in a year. You're definitely going to Hawaii. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to go. Definitely. I'm happy to definitely. go. Definitely. I'm happy to go. Something work related will take you to Hawaii. Okay. Ooh. You know, once it did in the past. Really? Yeah. Um, there was a TV show that flew me there to work on something overnight. I was like in Hawaii. I was in Maui for one night. That's a quick trip to Hawaii. Long time ago. Yeah, a TV show flew me there. You're doing very well, by the way. I'm no, just like I'm pushing just, you. Like thinking. I'm just, I'm, I'm just like, I'm like pushing you. <laughs> Maybe I'll, something with hiking. Do you like hiking? I do. I was just talking about hiking with the person that was in the other show. Yep, I like to hike. I don't do enough of it lately, but yes, I like to hike. Notice how I'm not looking at you. I find when I read, if I look at someone, it's mm -hmm. harder. Okay. But when I focus and I let the thought come in, it will bring more of a, an image or a feeling to me. Do you like cocktails? Like with vodka? You know, I, no. <laughs> I no? don't. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. No. No, okay. But... I have a friend who recently passed away, 
and I used to keep vodka in my freezer just for her. Oh, wow. And I wonder if you're getting her. Oh. See what I mean? You can't be wrong about this stuff. There, when you get something, you're getting it. You may not understand what you're getting. You may not understand why you're getting it or how you're getting it. But I have a feeling I always kept, the only reason I kept vodka was for her in my freezer. That's crazy. Maybe yeah. her spirit's here. Try, try, try something. I just see vodka tonics, like, in, like, small glasses, like, upside down martini glasses. Or, like, You're just the top. dreaming about drinking vodka tonics. <laughs> <laughs> With no lime or lemon, though. No, I don't just, think she did. Uh, I don't think she did put lime or lemon in it. No garnish. No. That's so funny. I don't know why. <laughs> but I'm I'm wondering if she because it's Friday. If it's her though. If if it's her, <laughs> because I have vodka in my freezer in Michigan right now because of her. If it's her, she came to me in a dream three days ago. Wow. If it's her. Can you give okay. me a name? Initial? Go P? for it. Huh? P? P. I was gonna say D. What? D. D. I have a brother-in-law who likes vodka who's a D. <laughs> <laughs> who's living. And those are the only two people I ever have vodka in my house for. He's living, though. Do you have a name? Dan. Close. Yo. Huh? <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> no, close. No, Daniel's close. Dan is, it's, it's close. The sounds are close. Dave? Yep. It's my brother-in-law. Now feel him and see if you see anything about him. Football? I don't know if he likes football. I'm not sure. He didn't play football or anything? He might have. He might have, and I don't know. I don't know. It's my sister's husband. I don't know. I've only known him for 40 years. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what? Me? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I was going to say Dennis, but Dave, um, you said football. What about golf? I think he used to play golf. Yeah. Yeah. He used to play golf. Does he wear glasses? I think for reading. Baseball yeah. hats? I don't know, maybe. Like when white he play golf. Mm. I don't know. I you guys I'm pushing you, but you're doing really <laughs> well. I'm just throwing out right <laughs> See? <laughs> okay, but sometimes no no, you're not. You think you are, but you're not, because you were very open about letting your mind go blank and allowing the thought to come in. You know when you're doing your show with, what's it called? Breaking? Beauty break, yeah. Beauty break, yeah. breaking yeah. bad. Breaking bad. I wish that was okay, show. Okay, so show. Oh beauty, it's, it's beauty break on Clever TV. <laughs> These guys are like stars. <laughs> and they're social media stars. And how can they get a hold of you? On I'm, social media. Yeah, Instagram or Twitter yeah. at Lily underscore Marston. At Jocelyn Davis. Mm -hmm. Jocelyn Davis, Lily, score, Lily underscore Marston. Marston, okay. Because what you're, what you're doing is, you're, it's like when you get feelings, sometimes it's like three different radio stations on in your head at once. So you're not sure why you're getting what you're getting. But like, and sometimes I may not get the exact name, but I may be off with it, but it's similar. Like Dan and Dave, they're mm -hmm. DA, DA. That's why you've got the DA. And the more you do it, and the more you work with it, and the more you feel it, but when you're doing your show, don't you sometimes, like, things happen, you go, oh, that was really funny. Where did that come from? Um, <laughs> the entire, the entire time. time. We're but just like, ugh. Th that's because you're open to the creativity. Mm -hmm. And when I do my readings, and when anybody is intuitive or psychic, they're open to that creative energy. Because that's where you want to tune into and you want to have it as an open channel so it can come through you. And that's why you're so funny about it. So what do you guys do? You put makeup on people? It, ourselves, I really apparently. couldn't even tell you what we do because it's so it's random so week weird. to week. Um, we basically test out like beauty products or style trends or beauty tools or like 
sometimes it's not that beauty related and we just like do it anyway. Like lifestyle. <laughs> right. And but we just... What did we film we today? We fail at many things. Today we did... <laughs> we, did we did makeup stencils. Oh, how fun. Not yeah. so... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> fun, is, is that like tattoos? No, it literally like stencils for like your lips or your eyebrows or your eyeshadow. And then eyeshadow. you just put it on and color it in. But like, it doesn't really work. So oh, but that's so these, much fun. But it's funny to out. watch us make fools of ourselves. Yeah. That's so much fun. Well, yeah. you're, you're both a delight. I hope that you'll continue to listen to your intuition and never doubt it and always act upon it. Not everybody's supposed, in fact, few people in the world are supposed to read for other people because you have to be a certain kind of, of person and you have to be wired a certain way. Mm -hmm. However, you can use it for your own life and you can use it for the, those you love. And, um, and for your new little baby. Oh, yes. Your little. I'm so it, obsessed. It's like really out of control. It's crazy, right? Yeah. The cutest. And they're so innocent and loving. Like and fat. Yeah, I was going to say, and fat. So fat. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the, little, the little thighs. Oh, little sharp hay legs. Oh, my God. They're so cute. <laughs> anyway, it's a delight. And t t where can people see you again? Because I want everybody to watch these kids. Clever style. Yeah, that's. Beauty break. Beauty break. Beauty Break Clever Style. On YouTube. On YouTube! Indeed. <laughs> we love YouTube. Okay, don't go away, everybody, because I'm going to do a reading. Hey, everybody. You probably think I only do individual readings, but sometimes I get a message for everybody. And I wrote a poem that was channeled through me, and I'd like to read it to you. It's called Until We Meet Again by Char Margolis, A Message from Heaven. My work is done, it's time to leave. Know that I am also missing you as you grieve. I completed my karma on the earth, and now it is time for my rebirth. I'm flying with eagles and dancing on stars. Please know that I haven't gone far. The love we have will carry us through until the day I am again with you. What an amazing journey this passing over can be. I am in good company. I know you hurt, but please trust me, our journey together is for eternity. So until the day our souls reunite, stay peaceful and well, and use your spirit sight. I will bring you signs from up above, a butterfly, a bird, my sign of love. Don't worry about me, I'm in good hands. Stay strong, stay positive, and continue to pray. When it is your natural day to graduate from the earth, look for me in the bright white light. We have completed our purpose and all will be right. This is handmade. It's signed by me. It's an affordable gift for any occasion. Just go to char.net and click on store. Thank you. If you like what you've seen on Char Vision, then go to char.net and book a personal reading with me, or join a group reading, or join one of my workshops where I teach you to be psychic and intuitive. Welcome back, everybody. I'm doing a live reading. I'm talking to dead people, but I'm doing a live <laughs> reading. And with Miriam, and what's your last name? Isa. Miriam Isa, and I just met her, so I don't know anything. Right. I, need to, I need to explain to her how I do my readings. So just be open about everybody living and deceased. Don't say any names. If more than one person share the same name or initial, if you can try to remember that, your sure. messages will go more smoothly. Okay. And I always say a prayer of protection, which um, I, I've said already. So I just want you to know that I say a prayer because as in everyday life, there are good and bad people, there are good and bad spirits. So um, I'm actually getting somebody else who's like um, either a Mary or Marie or another Miriam or another M-A-R person. Do you have family like this? I do, but alive. Who is this? My mom. Your mom. Okay, so she starts M-A-R? M-I-R. M-I-R. Okay, is she Miriam? Or, yes. Okay. Yeah. You just be open about everybody living and deceased because I don't always know if I'm getting something sure. from a spirit or they're telling me about someone living around you. And there's also a big A, like an A. Like, is there somebody who's an Anna or Abba? I don't know. Do you call anyone Abba? Or, I don't know. Or Ad A? Ad A? Ad A? Not that I is there a recall. Is there a middle name like this? Think. Uh, 
a deceased person? Or living. Um, uh, Did you only make a list of deceased people? No, I made oh, a list okay. of more. Um, I mean, there's my grandmother who's alive. Is she, does she start with an A? Well, I call her Abuela because it means Abuela. That, I, that might be the name I'm getting yeah. because it's a name that I didn't, I said like Abba yeah. or Ab, yeah. Ab, Abuela. Okay. Has there been a health issue with your grandma? Uh, she's 96. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Do you know if there was an issue with her being dizzy or falling? Yes. Okay. Because I'm being told that her husband's deceased, correct? Yes. Okay. I think he might be here. I don't know his name, but I feel like he might be here or that he is here. And I feel that your grandma, that they need to watch, your your grandma needs to communicate about how she feels and to make sure she doesn't fall again. Does she use a, a walker or cane? Not or? anymore. She's bedridden. She's bedridden. Because okay, of the fall. so she did because mm -hmm. of the fall. Okay. She needs to know that your grandpa's watching over her and waiting for her. So whenever that time is, and I don't play God with this, but whenever that time is, he's going to be there with her. Um, are you, did you model? Oh. Or a little model? Well, very little. Okay. Or are you wanting to model? Nope. Okay. Um. Are are you are you are you taking lessons with something now? Are you taking either acting lessons or thinking of taking acting lessons? Uh, I was taking some improv lessons. Improv lessons. Okay. Yes. Um, I feel like there's. Are you going to New York? I am. Are you do Are you going to be having meetings in New York or no? You're just going for fun. Yes. I think this is a really good trip for you this trip to New York, but also I feel like you need to be more proactive about expanding your career. Are you trying to <laughs> expand your career? Um, I've been failing at being proactive in that department. Okay, you, you're going to need to be more proactive to get to where you want to go. It's really important. I, yeah. All I can say That's is, you know, yeah. we make hay while the sun shines and we create our destiny by the choices we make. And I feel like it's great that you're having fun and you're going out and you're enjoying yourself. But I feel like you need to you need to be more proactive about helping you help yourself mm -hmm. get places with your career. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. And I I. I don't know if you're, it, do you get distracted by having fun or going out? Do you get distracted? Yeah. That's what I think is getting in your way. And I'm not saying don't go out and don't have fun. But a lot of times I feel like maybe you should have slept longer. Maybe you should have gotten up earlier, made some more phone calls, made some more. I, I just feel like you need to be more proactive about it or you're going to slip through the cracks with your career. That sounds like me. Has anyone told you this? Your mom? Yeah, and, and, I, and is, I know has that. Has your mom said this? Uh, she has, yes. Okay, well, your mom, if I if I resonate with a mom, mother's intuition makes sense, mm. and I feel like you have so much potential to do so much, and you're not doing it. You're not taking advantage. It's it, Nothing comes easy in life, nothing, and everything takes hard work, and I feel like you're going to regret it if you don't. Right. I've just been waiting for opportunity to come to me instead it's not, of grabbing it. It's not going to knock on your door. Right. You're not going to be discovered in a restaurant waiting tables. Not that you do that, but it, it, you're not going to happen. I, I don't know what I'm seeing. Did you know somebody who... I do not know what this is. Have you ever seen angels? I don't think so. Do you do you feel like you don't? Okay. Is your grandfather's deceased, right? Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like he's around you, and I feel like he wants to help you. That would Who, be real nice. Who's in E? Is he an E? Your mm -hmm. grandpa starts mm -hmm. with E. Mm -hmm. Is it E with a 
Is this um, an unusual name? Uh, Not American. In the Latin world, is it's it, really is, common. Is there? Is there? A, there's not a D in that name. Yes. Is there, is it E D? Yes. Like Ed. Eddie? Yes, that's Edda? it. Eduardo. Eddie? Eduardo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your grandpa's here, and he's telling this to me. And also, you need to be. He's saying you need to be more picky about the men you go out with. Oh dear. <laughs> is it true that if somebody likes you, go, oh, aren't I lucky he likes me? Or well, are you I'm more in a picky? relationship now. Are you having an issue? Um, we're uh -oh. at a bit of a, a crossroads. Impasse, yes. He doesn't appreciate you enough? No. Maybe? No, no, no. Or he does? He does. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I just think that there's going to be some issue. Your grandpa's saying that you need to either, you need to figure this out or fix it or do something about it because who's the other guy, though? Did someone else ask you out? Why do I see another guy? What does he look like? I don't know, but I kind of feel like there's, there's another. There's been a few. Let's and was there a J? A guy with a J or G? Who asked me out? Mm hmm Or maybe there's going to be. I don't know, but you need, you need to figure this out with him. Would you go to therapy and counseling with the boyfriend to figure it out? Yes, I would. I kind of feel like you need this or you're going to fall apart. Because you're starting to, are you pushing him away? Are you like pushing him away, like so he leaves and you don't feel guilty? Um, uh, I'm obsessing over imperfections in the relationship. Okay, nobody's perfect, and nobody will be perfect. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you need to figure this out, or you're gonna, it's gonna have an issue. You're, that's what your grandpa says. Hmm. And he wants you happy. But you're nitpicking at him. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? Well, nobody's perfect. Everybody's got flaws. Were you guys supposed to go to Las Vegas? Mm -mm. Were you going, were, were you, are you going anywhere where you're going to see Cirque du Soleil or... We uh, just went to Cirque du Soleil. Oh, you did go to yeah. Cirque du Soleil. Okay, because I was seeing Cirque du Soleil in Las Vegas. So that's the way I see things. So you mm. just went to Cirque du Soleil. Mm -hmm. And did you have fun? We did. Yeah. Yeah, because your grandpa must know that you went to Cirque du Soleil. So I don't know. I, I'm just... But he's still in love with you, the boyfriend, right? Very much. Very much. And I very much love him. But you're not sure you want to stay. I... You know when you're waiting to know whether this is the, the right one? Right. Whether I think the... you need to go to therapy. Okay. I think you need to go find a good therapist. And the other thing is, I feel like you need to, I don't, you know how you're waiting for somebody to discover you? And it takes work to, right. to open doors for a career? In the same way it takes work and compromise in a relationship. I don't think he's a bad guy. I think he's a nice man. He's a wonderful man. But, and I don't also want you to screw it up. So I feel like you need to go, you, you need to figure, either go to therapy with him or go on your own so you don't screw it up. But I'm also- i calling my therapist tomorrow. <laughs> don't, but don't miscalculate because you wanna be in a different place in your career right now and you're not there. And don't miscalculate your lack of um, achievement at this point in time in your life with him being in your life because he's not distracting you. Mm. He's, he's helping add to your life because he's caring about you. But there's a part of you that thinks, well, maybe if I was free, maybe if I was out there, maybe if I, I met more people, I'd have more opportunities to get my career in order. And I feel like that's not where it's at. Mm. Does that make any sense? It does. Is he handsome? He's handsome, right? Yeah. I have good teeth. <laughs> <laughs> what happened with the vehicle? Did you just have a broken vehicle? I just got rear-ended yesterday. Last night. No one knows. 
Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so your grandpa's working overtime. Your angels are working overtime making sure you're not hurt. <laughs> oh. Did they give you their insurance and everything? They did. Thank you for asking. Yeah. But your car's still drivable, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was more of just a physical impact, and my poor Toyota Corolla has been through a lot, but you can't tell on the outside. So. Just make sure that it's checked out, mm -hmm. the car is checked out. Thank you. I will. I feel like you're okay, but it wasn't your fault. No. It really wasn't. Were, were you thinking about taking a drive somewhere, like a longer drive? Or going on a holiday? Um, With your boyfriend? Well, we're going to New York together. Oh, you're going to New York together? Yeah. So it's not a drive, it's a flight. Yeah. Okay, so that's nice. Yeah. That'll be our trip. Do you start arguments intentionally? <laughs> um, I bring up cracks that are in the foundation. I bring them up You need a to lot. think about before you talk to him, because he's a sensitive guy. And instead of saying, you did this wrong or you did that, my sister's a psychologist and she's very smart. She's taught me some things. And one thing she always says is, if somebody's, if you're not, if you're not happy, you can't blame the other person. You have to say, I'm feeling right. empty or I'm feeling insecure or I'm feeling sad or I'm feeling hurt. And then if you say it like that, then they can come around with an answer for you. Mm -hmm. But I feel like your family really adores you. Are you adored and loved? And yeah. You're very fan. You're, you're it's fam a very warm Latin family. Yeah, it's a nice family. But they're all going to be very picky about who you at, at, at cho choose. They love him, though. That's good. I feel like he's worth working on. Thanks for saying that. Yeah, I think that he's worth working on. But the only one who's going to know if you're really in love is you. Mm -hmm. The only one who's really going to know. But I feel like you'll be married one day. You want to be married one day, right? I do. You want a family I and do. kids. Mm -hmm. Is he not quite where you would like him to be creatively or business-wise? Um, I think we're both not in our best year professionally, yeah, for sure. Because I see that he's trying to. He's trying to make something mm -hmm. of himself. I feel like there's going to be another man that is going to try to take you away. like. Hmm. And I'm not saying you should go or not go or anything. I'm just saying there's going to be an energy of someone, but I don't think they're as nice as this guy is. Hmm. But there's someone who may try to sweep you off your feet but I don't know if I completely trust them. Mm. So I would be careful. Is there another Eduardo? Yes. Who's that? Your brother? Your uncle? Who's um, that? Yeah, my uncle, who's alive. Mm -hmm. And is there a Robert or Roberto? That was my father's middle name. Is your dad deceased? Yes. He's in here. Is he? Mm -hmm. And sometimes they will come in with the middle name. Mm -hmm. So I feel like he wants you to know he's working on, He's. I feel like he's. he feels like he should have done more for you. Keep going. And he's, <laughs> and he's apologizing for not always being available or there for you. But he's going to try to make up for it on the other side. Yeah, and also apologizing to your mom. Okay. Does that make sense to you? Very much. Did he cheat on her? Um, I don't know if he did. Okay, well, maybe he just wasn't always... They got always divorced a... when I was six months old. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I that makes know. good sense. Okay. So he's apologizing, and he's also saying he made a big mistake by leaving your mom because your mom's a great gal. But I think she was in love with him. And I feel like it kind of ruined her happiness. Um, I, 
anyway, he's apologizing and he hopes you can accept it. But he's also saying your boyfriend's a lot nicer than he was. That's so true. <laughs> and it's and, and you know what? And if that's how you had to learn, by the way, your dad was that right. you didn't want. Know what you don't want. Exactly, because you 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 are wise in a lot of things that you do. I had a really good example in my mom, and not a great example in my dad. Yeah, but both were sources of learning. But you know, we choose our parents. Mm. Like life is a school, and we're here to learn lessons, mm -hmm. and we choose our parents to learn life's lessons. So you chose him for some reason, what you want and what you don't want, maybe, you know? Right. But he's, um, but I kind of think this boyfriend, I don't know if you'll find anyone who adores and loves you as much as he does. I mean, I'm not saying you won't fall in love with someone else, but don't get lured by fake things, by money. Never. Or anything like that. Don't get lured by fake things. Um... Do you have any, you need to get just more proactive. And the thing is, your boyfriend would, wouldn't care if you got more busy or more proactive about yeah, your career. Yeah, he, he would not. Just do it. It's, the first true love is self-love. Mm -hmm. doesn't mean you're selfish. It means your needs matter. Mm -hmm. So I feel that this is where you should start focusing. Um, What's your question? I have a couple questions. Um, do you see me being a mother? Yes. Do you see my boyfriend being the father? I'm not sure. I, it, it doesn't mean he won't be. I just don't always know everything. Yeah. I definitely see you being a mom. I appreciate the honesty. I definitely see you being a mom and at least two kids. That's great. And your mom wants grandkids. Oh, she does. She's Desperately. Them. Desperately. What's the butterfly? Does, does the butterfly mean anything to you? Like, my mom comes to us as a butterfly. It's a sign. Hmm. You don't have a sign for your dad, like a bird, a butterfly. A, you don't have a sign for him, do you? Not that I can immediately recall in this moment. Okay, that's all right. Oh, he might come as a butterfly. Maybe I'm seeing it like that. Because I definitely see a butterfly really? in front of me. Butterfly, interesting. Yeah. I mean, actually, I wore something. This I think this has butterflies on it somewhere. Oh, yeah. Does it? I think on the left, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Um, what, I feel that in my career right now, I'm being very inauthentic, uh, but I don't know how to use my strengths and apply them. I'm afraid of taking risk and oh, leaving where I'm hard. at. No guts, no glory, right? Yeah. Well, you, do you have to leave where you are? Can you just start looking elsewhere? Because if you leave where you are, it may be a while till something else comes. You need. Do you have someone representing you to help you? No, I've never had an agent. No. I feel like you need you need to mm -hmm. be more proactive at finding out what else there is before you just up and leave. Mm. What do you mean unauthentic? You're not yourself. Yeah, I'm they, not myself, and I don't talk about the that? things that I care about. Why uh, is that? Because um, you're afraid. You're afraid people will judge you? Well, no. The, it's the content that I work in requires a certain side of my personality that does, just doesn't feel like my most honest side. Maybe you should start tomorrow being more honest. Yeah. Just try it. And say, you know what? I'm going to start being honest with you guys. Yeah. See if it resonates. Are you on camera? Mm-hmm. Camera will love that. The audience will love that. Because you're lovely just like you are. You're too hard on yourself. You're hard on you. You're hard on the boyfriend. Yeah. You're just too hard on yourself. Life is not, life is not easy. Not, nothing and no one is perfect except my doggy. So Aww. he's perfect. But call up your therapist and talk about that. Mm-hmm. I, I'm a big believer in therapy. I think it really works. But anyway, your dad's here. He's apologizing. I hope you can accept it and move on from it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. trusting me. Oh, it was my pleasure. Thank you I'll so give much. I'll you a hug one more. 
okay. after I say goodbye to everybody. Good. Are we done? A big hugger. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Take good care of yourself. And you know what? If you need a therapist, go th see a therapist. I needed one once, and it's the best thing I did. <laughs> and, you, and, you know, it, it's like spirits can help you. You can be intuitive, but you got to know yourself first. And self-love is the first true love. So I wish you all self-love. Take care. Bye-bye.